for the cheapest coins, FIFA points and accounts on FIFA Mobile and FIFA 17. Go to ufifa.com, use the code TVM at checkout for a huge discount. Link in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome to another episode of the FIFA Mobile Road to Glory. And finally, EA have done us proud. They've released two live events. Thanks EA, appreciate that. I'll be so happy when this MLS Cup and this Black Friday slash Cyber Monday stuff disappears. It's been too long now. The, the Black Friday stuff, obviously, it's going to last another, well, the rest of today. And that's it. And that's fine, because that's what it should be. You know, it lasted Friday, it lasted now, it's done and dusted. The MLS Cup stuff, obviously, they can't finish it without the, the games in real life being finished. But they focus too much on it. They've put too much emphasis on it. And they, they've neglected other things, in my opinion. And it's kind of, it's a bit frustrating for someone who needs to record content and, and different types of content. I can't seem to... There's just nothing there. I can't do anything. There's no live events. So, anyway, we got ourselves a uh, 73 rated goalkeeper. We're now doing the Champions Cup event. And I never really thought to myself what this does to the market. You know, like the Team Hero events come out. And they flood the market with Team Hero cards. And then you've got... You can, you can pick up ones that were 6k. You could pick them up for like 3.5k and stuff. It's really nice. I like it. But I've never thought about that for the, the, the cups. So... I went into the market and I had a look to see what cups were on offer really cheap. And I picked up two Brazil cups, which were very cheap indeed. Uh, we managed to pick one up for 1,500, another one for about 1,700 something. And normally they're about two and a half, three thousand. So, you know, we're going for about more or less half price. Can we get anything good though? That's the question. Andreas Pereira. I tell you what, this guy is like a magnet or a boomerang rather. I keep discarding him. He keeps coming back. I can't get rid of him. For a laugh, I decided to do the Scottish Cup because it was worth 400 coins. I did another Brazil Cup because obviously I had one left over. We're hopefully going to pick up something that isn't Andres Pereira. Before we do the Brazil Cup, we're going to do the Scottish one. Like I said, it was 500 coins. The players cost me like four, 500 as well. So it doesn't really cost hardly anything to do this. The only negative side is, of course, there are so many silvers and we pull McKay. There's only one elite player and that's Fletcher. And I wouldn't even use him. I'd probably sell him straight away. So yeah, it is what it is. We managed to do another Brazil one, like I said. And we pull yet another Andres Pereira. I give up with the Brazil Cups for the time being. I'm going to let them just go. I'm just, I just, I can't be bothered with it. So... That was the time that I went into the market to search for some players. I decided to try and like, try out some other trading methods. So I went to see what the cheapest elite was. It was it was Marshall, incidentally. And then I sort of dropped it by two or three thousand. And then I managed to pick him up for twenty one thousand two hundred fifty. He sells for well, he sold for about twenty five k. Then I had another look, and a few people had listed them, and I was about to go to sleep, so I thought, you know, I'm going to list them up for 23,950 and then 24. That wasn't the cheapest on the market at the time, but I was hoping that people would buy the ones underneath mine, and then mine would eventually sell. It did. Did we make much money? Not really. About 400 coins. It's it's a bit of a pain in the tits, this MLS Cup. Again, I'm going to go on about it. We've got two, two other players there that I sold that we got. I think we got in the MLS Cup event the other day. Um... As I move on to sniping crests, because obviously Black Friday means that there's a lot of crest sort of uh, door crasher events, and that's what I've managed to pick up so far. Uh, we yeah, what was I saying? The uh, the the MLS uh, elites are flooding the market, and it's really difficult to find the normal elites to find out where I where those are, because those are the best ones to snipe. Some some people list them up for like five ten k lower than what they go for. These MLS ones, no one's really going to list them up for less than twenty k. There's not an awful lot of wiggle room for profit, and then if you... Uh, it's just really awkward. Really, really awkward. And I don't think it's ever going to get any better now either. I think they've not ruined it, but I think it, it's ruined sniping for sure. I picked up a French Cup, and for those of you who don't know, the French Cups are worth about 18000 I picked it up for 8000 I know a lot of you are saying, hey, sell it, sell it, sell it. And I will, but uh, there's a lot of them on there now for like 10k. So I'm waiting until they go back up, because they will go back up. We picked up a uh, PSG crest there for 4,800. And there we have it. Four PSG crests in the club. Two Leon, one Olympiacos and one Zenit. Roughly, those crests alone come to about 50k. Okay, so we've got about 50,000 worth of coins once the prices go back up. Which will probably happen about Wednesday time, I would imagine. Basically, the reason that the prices on crests are so low at the moment is just down to this rubbish at the end here. Um... It's sort of subduing a little bit now because the door crasher events have all finished. Basically, in this section in the middle, uh, which I'm pointing at, which you can't see because obviously you've not recorded my finger. Um, the, the door crasher events had, um, you know, like the, the sort of flash events really where you'd be able to trade in two or three tokens to get yourself a crest. And that meant that all the crests were flooding onto the market. They also released that Leon PSG thing, which meant that more crests, again, were flooding onto the market. So it's not... Um, it's not ideal for, for those of you who 
you know, want to make money on this, but we have to wait a little bit. Picked up a Welsh Cup, as you saw just a second ago. Uh, picked that up for, uh, like, 900 coins. They're going really cheap at the moment because of that Alive event. The Ukraine Cup, I picked it up for a laugh, actually. I'm going to do the uh, the Ukraine event. I don't think the Ukraine had any elite players on offer in that uh, cup. So that's probably why it's going cheap. But if we can get a decent gold player, some of them are going for a few thousand. So we'll have to wait and see. That French Cup, like I said, uh, at the moment, the France and Germany Cup sell for about 18, 20k. Well, not at the moment, but they do in the long run. At the moment, though, they're down about 10k. So, it, I honestly, I would take the risk if you're willing to invest. I'd buy them all up and wait because they will go back up once this uh, champion uh, event finishes. Got a couple of inform tokens ready there for Wednesday. I haven't got enough to actually open a pack, which is a shame. We've got these ultimate um, monster werewolf and and monster mummy tokens and stuff. I can't use them anymore. The event's gone, and I didn't have enough to finish it off. So I kind of wish I could... I mean, can I just... I can just... I'm just going to sell them. I mean, in theory, I should keep them, because, you know, like, just in case, for whatever reason, they decide, hey, for those of you who've got these tokens left over, we've uh, we've compiled this. Uh, there should be, like, a trash token section where if you've got an elite token, regardless of what it is, doesn't matter what it is, if you've got an elite token... You can put it in there and get, like guarantee yourself a gold or better player, regardless of what it is. So, for instance, I've got this domination stand tackle thing. If I've got no desire to do the domination event, I should be able to put that into the recycler, shall we say, and it, it gives me a gold or better player, right? If I've got a gold token I don't want, so that crest there, for instance, if I want to put that into the recycler, I get a silver or better player. Like, it's not rewarding you massively, but it's just something. Because I don't really want to discard that for 25 coins. Am I ever going to get hammers? I don't know. You know, it's, it's a bit frustrating. Um, I'm live now, by the way, and I'm going into the store because there are Team Hero packs available, and I've loaded up enough to do one pack. It's a bit scarce out there at the moment. No, not John scarce. It's, uh, it's just a little bit scarce in the way of live events. I will open that pack in a second, I promise. But obviously, we've done that Champions event. We've done the Goalkeeper. And there's the MLS training. I could I could spam it. I could. But what's the point? Honestly, what is the point? We're not going to make any money from it, really. We're not going to claim any of the players. I might start doing the daily warm-ups and the drill events so we can actually build towards something that they do. Yeah, just in case they do have days like this. Actually, I do have a pack I can open. Bobby has sent me a yet another one. So we are going to accept it. Thank you, Bobby, for being such a gent and sending me another beginner pack so we can get ourselves a couple of uh, bronze and silver player there. I was actually looking at that guy yesterday because I thought he was Scottish. Because I kept looking at the Scottish League for those uh, for that Champions uh, Cup. Uh, though They will go towards plans. Um, a lot of people in the comments section saying that the, those beginner packs are pointless. And in theory, yes, they are. To buy them, they are pointless. But to send them to someone, not so pointless. Because those two now have gone towards a cup. We've got ourselves another silver player in there as well that can, uh, that can go towards... That can go towards a few things. Uh, there you go. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep Frazier because I think he's... Is he Scottish? I can't tell. But uh, I'm going to keep him. But uh, no, they, they go towards the trophies. You know, the trophies uh, all add up in, in money and, and things like that. So uh, they're not they're not bad if you send them to other people. They're bad if you buy them yourself. But as you can't send coins... Yeah. So we're in total, we've got 105k. We should have 155 once the crests eventually sell, once we relist them. And of course, we've got that French Cup, which was probably sell for about 15k, I would imagine. So we're up there. You know, we're, we're touching 200k. I want to get a little bit more before I start buying elite trophies. Hopefully, this is going to help us. I kind of want some crests that are going to go for a little bit. Um, pray for Dortmund, I guess, because Dortmund ones are uh, extinct right now, I believe, because there's a glitch. So everybody pray for an elite player and three Dortmund crests, okay? Here we go. Individually, from left to right, bang. We get ourselves Paulson. That's one of our rare players, uh, one of our gold players, sorry. Not the best of pulls. Next player is going to be an Ajax token. That is not massive. It would have been massive last week, but it's not massive this week. Actually, one of the what, what crest is worth a lot of money? Fenerbahce. The Fenerbahce crest is worth bank right now. We get... Um, Kleeson, Kleeson, not quite sure uh, how you pronounce that, but either way, it's crap. Next player is going to be an Leon Crest, which is one of the ones you don't want at this stage because they're just so common. Next is going to be a silver player. That's fine. Next is going to be our final gold player, should we, uh, unless we get another silver player, of course. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I know he's from Freiburg, but that's probably it. The next one, oh, I know, okay, 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 Nelson Samedo, which means we're not going to get a second silver player. We got granted another gold. Thank you, EA. Please give me Dortmund, Fenerbahce, or that, that's pretty much all I want, really. PSG, of course. Of course we get PSG. Of, who, what, what, other, what other crests could we have possibly got? The Ajax one might still be worth money, actually. In fact, I think we can still... Work, can we still use the Ajax? I'm not sure. Let's go look. Um, the Ajax um, one was... Oh, we can. 
Oh, okay, that's cool, that's cool. The Ajax one was worth money because you could use it in the celebration event. I didn't think you were able to still use it in this event. Uh, but apparently you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that Ajax crest. We're going to sacrifice it in hope that we can get uh, up to 10, really, I think. Uh, celebrate uh, teams that have won by five or more goals in their domestic league matches last week. Add a winning, winning team crest to redeem a team celebration pack containing up to 10 team crests. Now, I've never received more than three. Uh, so hopefully they, you know, they pay out here. Come on, come on, let's do it, let's do it. Come on, give me, give me like, I don't, I'm not greedy, I don't want, okay, to go wrong, I'd love ten, but I'm not expecting ten. Five would do, four or five, I'm happy with four or five. I'm predicting three, if I'm honest. Two, are you apps, oh, okay, 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 okay. Give me Fenerbahce, or Ajax. Just don't give me Leon or PSG, that's all I ask. Leicester, okay, well, it's not great, but still. And the next one is going to be Galatasaray. That's okay, I can go with it, I can go with it, because it's not Leon or PSG, that's all I really wanted, with different crests. Well, we've sw swapped up an Ajax token for two different ones. I mean, ultimately, we could have sold that Ajax um, crest for money. I mean, like, decent money as well. Uh, as you can see, I've been searching up some um, some German cups. Oh, that's worth 9-8 there, that might be worth a punt. If I had the guts to do it, honestly, I would. If I had the guts to just buy, like, all of these, I would. And I'd wait and see if they went back up. But it's just on the off chance that it doesn't, you know? I want to go see how much that uh, Ajax token is worth very, very quickly. Uh, let's go over to gold token and just search it up here. Yeah, see, we could have sold it for about, what, 20? No, 15? But 15k. Uh, which, ultimately, is not what we're going to get back from those two crests that I've just got. We've got the... Um, We've got the, what do we get? The the Galatasaray crest, which sells for, oh, hello. Did they score five? No, surely not. How, what, how are they worth? Hmm. Uh, Galatasaray. Let's look for, what, 10K? Okay, there's one up there for six, nine, and one up there for eight, eight. They've just been listed as well. Do I dare buy that? Uh, I took a risk there. I don't know why. I'm not sure how or what Galatasaray did. So I just had a quick look, and they didn't win by more than five goals. If they won 3-1 against Bursaspor. I'm not really sure why they sell for so much money, but apparently they do. So apparently I've just sniped something unintentionally. I mean, there's one there for 9-9 that's literally just gone up, so I imagine that's going to sell quite quick. That one's been up for about eight minutes, and it's on 10-5. So I'm going to sell both of mine, because I don't really want either of them. So... Let's just go and find them. I mean, I could... We, we need three Galatasaray crests to do the Team Heroes. But my luck is so bad with Team Heroes that I've decided that it's just... I think it should be worth my uh, while if I were to sell them for just under the 10k mark. If I sell them both for just under 10k, they'll sell relatively quickly. And then we don't have to worry. Uh, we've made nearly... We've made, Okay, we've probably made about 16,000, 17,000 after tax. Which, you know, let's be honest, I'm happy with that. That's that's the uh, the value of the Ajax one anyway. So, okay, granted, we didn't make as much profit. But still, it doesn't matter. Let's have a look to see how much this Leicester one is worth. We could end the episode at any point, but I'm sure you guys are enjoying this. Because uh, a lot of you always go on to be about trading. Uh, well, guess what? We're doing it, baby. Leicester tokens are not worth as much. Oh, actually, maybe they're like, no, 7k. Okay. Let's lower this down a little bit here. Uh, let's have a look for... Oh, that's 70. That's probably too much. 7k, there's one there for 6.6. Six. It's been up for about 6-ish minutes. Uh, it's been up, been up for 8 minutes, but, you know, they don't show straight away. Um, let's lift that up a little bit, because I'd imagine that that would sell quite quick. Uh, or, yeah, see, it's the cheapest by by quite, by quite far. Um, again, 7,900. 6.6, uh, six. Six. they sell for 7.9. What's this tax on that? 790 coins? Uh, so if I sell it for 790 coins, yeah, that's profit. Um, so we'll buy that up as well. Hey, I tell you what, this trading malarkey is not as uh, as hard as people think it is. I'm uh, I'm not even trying at the moment. I'm just looking to sell my things, and I'm ending up making money. Uh, it's the, like the very early morning, actually. It's like 10 a.m., so I don't imagine there's many people on. These crests are not... What the hell? Okay, 8,900. It's not selling. 86 is not selling. Um, well, there's one there for 7.9 that's sold. And there's ones at the beginning for 7877. So I'm going to sell both of mine for just under the 8k mark, I think. Well, actually, what? Is that stupid? 8900. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll sell them for, like, literally 8000 flat and see if we can get a, a bite out of them. I mean, I mean that, you know, I've made money on them anyway, haven't I? Um, that's uh, 7950. And then let's list it up for 
seven, nine, nine. The power of that penny or that one coin, it will surprise you. If someone sees seven instead of an eight, they'll automatically, they'll forget the three numbers behind it. They'll automatically think, wow, that's cheap. Bang, done, that'll sell. <laughs> and as I said, it's something popped up. I think that's the Galatasaray crest that's just sold. Um, the Olympiacos, I've already checked, it sells for 6,000. The PSG at the moment, it, it's all messed up. But, you know, they sell for whatever, really, like 4K, 5K. The Zenit one is interesting. I don't know what Zenit actually did on the weekend. I don't think they won by a considerable amount. So they're not one of the ones you can use in that event. So they're not going for an awful lot, I would imagine. No, they, they, they're down. You know, they're right down. They're the common ones you pull. So that's what everybody seems to be... Um, that's what everyone was probably getting in those uh, door crasher events. Let's go see what we've sold before we wrap, wrap up the episode. So we've sold one of our Galatasaray crests, just proving that it does sell for 9950 which means that other Galatasaray crest rather should sell literally any second now, I would imagine. And then those, uh, those Leicester crests should sell in the next 5, 10, 20 minutes or so. And uh, we'll be laughing, really. Let's claim the money back on that. Let's refresh this just in case that... Nope, nothing sold just yet. Um, yeah, we've... We're going to make money back. And, of course, we've got loads of crests left in the club. I'm going to um, continue to do this. The crest the crest um, trading method, really, is the only one that I really know that works 100% of the time. And it doesn't matter how many people know about it, it will always work. Because people, they're sort of, they're disposable items. Yeah, players aren't disposable, right? Players fluctuate up and down. They may stay down. They may go back up. Crests are consumable. So people use them, which means... More, more come onto the market, but then they get taken off and they get discarded, essentially, because you're trading them in. So there's always a, a need for them. There's always a want for them. So they always hover around the same price. And as you can see here, for some reason, some of them are worth a lot more than others. The Galatasaray one in particular has very much surprised me. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I will be back again tomorrow, providing that EA release something very juicy tonight. I'm kind of hoping for some uh, quite a few live events. I'm, I'm hoping for another inform um live event actually so we can spam it ready for wednesday there we go we've sold another one the galatasaray i want to sold incidentally the i don't know why well maybe i do know why i'm not quite sure why but i i the the items you list on the market they take about three minutes to actually go onto the market so if it doesn't sell in the first two or three minutes it's because no one can actually see it yet you notice that when you go onto the market you never really see anything listed up uh it's always like if you see something 57, it's normally, it's just gone up kind of thing. That's You're seeing it for the first time. If you're there sniping, you'll see that everything you snipe is about 57, 56, 57. Very rarely would you ever see 58, 59. It takes about three minutes to go onto the market. So I'm not like, not really thinking that these are going to sell. Wow, what did I just do? I'm not really thinking these are going to sell for another minute or two anyway. Anyway, that's it. I'll be back again tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know your biggest trade profit on FIFA Mobile. For more FIFA Mobile content, go to my second channel. The link is in the description. A lot of player reviews and uh, squad builders and things like that going live up on there at the moment. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, do me a favor and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have done so. Thank you very much for watching as always. And until the next time, lads, goodbye.